Hello. You want to get through there by the looks? Good evening. I've made it to Marla South Rest Area. It's just like a roadside stop, so not far off the road, so we'll get plenty of road noise, I'm sure, but the sun is getting low, so it's definitely time to pull over before the uh, kangaroos start coming out. Driven about ooh, 140 k's today, I think. But um, this is me for the night. Uh, it's unfortunate that there's a lot of toilet paper scattered around. Uh, obviously no toilets here, but yeah, people have um, you know, just littered toilet paper everywhere, unfortunately. I'll pick up some rubbish, but it won't be toilet paper. Good morning from Marla in South Australia. This is the last stop before you get to the Northern Territory border. There's not a lot here. You got obviously the petrol station. There is a supermarket there. Prices are pretty high. Uh, there's a bar and a bit of takeaway food. It is a popular stop being, as I say, the last stop before you get to the NT border. There's no price on the fuel bowels, so I don't know what the prices for fuel here, but I um, should be good till I get to Alice. There's a dump point here, uh, there's clean toilets, someone's left the lid up on that. Just around the corner here there's water filling station. Yeah, unfortunately it's out of order, but if you look at the prices there, five litres for two bucks. So I'm glad I don't have to be filling up a 95 litre water tank. A little expensive. Oh, and I should have added, there's no phone reception here, so yeah, well not for TBG anyway. I'm hitting the road, check you later, bye. I'm doing things old school way, and I've got my, um, you know, hits of the 80s and so on. And a dog whistle politics one there. Shout out to my son there for his EP. Gonna just put another bit of music on, and back on the road. Yippee, I've arrived at the Northern Territory. Yay, <laughs> it takes enough weeks. This is the border and it is cold. <laughs> um, but anyway, I thought I'll stop here for lunch, have a look around. There's plenty of other people doing the same thing. Uh, there are toilets over there. There's information boards. A fair bit of caravan parking, but not a lot. Exciting, I'm in an NT, yay. <laughs> anyway, next stop somewhere north, heading towards Alice Springs, across the Tanami. There's a lot of people on the road though now, school holidays in Pretoria. Time for some lunch, and about to head further north. Hopefully the weather gets a little bit warmer. Top to Dildunda, it's the intersection of the Stuart Highway and Lassiter Highway. Uh, there's um, a motel, there's camping, there's uh, a bar, snack food, petrol station, toilets, and there's a bit of an emu enclosure here. Three dollars a bag for food. So it's a popular stop here. So that way is Uluru, Ears Rock and I'll be continuing to head north towards Alice. I'm intending to do the Marini Loop Road and Uluru on the way south. I wanted to get north sooner rather than later to take advantage of the uh, hopefully better weather up there at the time. Oh dear, <laughs> look what happens when you go through a bit of mud. 
getting late in the day and um, yeah, she's getting a bit muddy here, so yeah, a bit of mud even going up on the on the stone garden, a few spots on the caravan, but not too bad so far. So anyway, let's um, tackle this, see how I go before it, the sun goes down. Well, that was all a bit exciting. Got the car a little bit dirty and the caravan. And looks like everything's intact inside. Um, hopefully nothing's broken under there. The mud flicking up on the um, stone stomper. A bit there. I'm guessing it's going to get worse. This is what it's for. That's why it's called a four wheel drive. I'm guessing this red dirt will set like concrete. I've only just got here before the sun set, so pushing the limits a bit, but here we are. Um, on this little off-road stint, I didn't let the tyres down for a short distance. Yeah, it handled it okay. I'll just um, pump the airbags up, um, give me a bit more ground clearance on the way out. I spotted it. And there's a frosty good morning from Redback Waterhole in the Northern Territory, just south of Alice Springs. Beautiful spot, but time to go back and have a hot cuppa, I think. You can see all this uh, white grass out here. It's white because it's covered in ice, frost. It's very cold here, but beautiful start to the morning. This is probably one of those places as well where you probably shouldn't stand too close to the edge. Where I was yesterday, they forecast rain. It's not forecast here, but I tell you what, if it rains, I'll be wanting to get out of here fairly quickly because I'll be slipping and sliding everywhere otherwise. It's a definitely a four wheel drive track in. Just wouldn't want to get caught here uh, with a lot of rain and make it a very interesting trip out to say the least. And when I was saying don't go too close to the edge, you can see how the ground's cracking here and it's uh, yeah, all been falling away into the water hole. Yeah, just don't um, camp or walk too close to the edge. So this is the Hugh River and you can just see by the lean on those trees over there, the amount of water that must come down here in the wet weather. Uh, it doesn't look like they've had any for a while, but not want to be on the wrong side of the river when it uh, flooded. It's just hard to believe that in the wet, this whole area could flood. I've been a good boy today. I've brought my drink bottle with me and wearing my cobra. So let's just go for a quick walk down there to where the water hole is. You can see on the side there the force of the water, a lot of the uh, trees on a bit of an angle. This is a good water source here and I thought we'd see a few kangaroos and stuff around. Well, this is, oops, I'll get out of here. Oops. <laughs> okay. Like quicksand down there. Yeah, might be a clean my shoes somewhere. And so uh, I believe the beginning of the water hole here. Enjoy the view. Well, I'm going to have my first fire on the road, so I think um, baked potatoes are the go. I've uh, done a bit of fork prepping with them. I'm doing four and probably have two tonight and two tomorrow night. Come and throw a few carrots on and got sausages 
a variety of uh, sausages there. Oh, and I've got the last loaf of my sourdough bread from Melbourne there. Thanks, Julie. Winter greens, I'll throw those on the stove with the carrots. And there you go. So that's going to be my dinner tonight. Got the solar blanket out, catching the last few rays of sun. Sun's getting low there. It's still higher than it was when I got here yesterday. And over here, well away from the caravan, <laughs> got my fire going. Gonna get some nice coals in there and then throw these potatoes in and then bring the sausages out and uh, cook them slowly on there. So we'll just um, let this burn down a bit. We've got a nice pit there for the fire. Just bring my chair over, bring my glass of wine over there later and watch the sunset. Beautiful. This is what it's all about. Someone going across to the other side of the river. And someone got stuck up there this morning. And there is someone else stuck there now with the caravan on. And I've given this a bit of a stir around. Just gonna start throwing these potatoes in here. Give me a bit of a turn after about 20 minutes. And, um, oh, there's something really hot in there. Um, yeah, see how they come out. And we'll see how it works with the uh, sausages on top there. Time to check those sausages again. They get a nice bit of colour there. It does flare up a little bit when the fat falls into the fire, but it's time to turn these um, potatoes over. I'll just put a, a bit of wood on the other side there, stick over there to just to lift it up a bit and support it, and a, and a, a rock on this end. Seems to be working very well. So, yeah, looking forward to these. <laughs> time to turn those spuds over. Actually got some really nice coals on the fire now. Perfect for cooking. <laughs> ready to take the spuds out and dish up. This is like the moment of truth, opening up your baked potatoes after they've been on the fire and uh, hoping they're not burnt to a crisp. I reckon that's pretty much perfect. That's looking pretty good too. Oh, how good does that look? Can't wait to dig in. I don't know how I'm going to eat all this. Actually, there's another four sausages. Sorry, Joy, that you're not here to um, share this with me. I've definitely cooked enough for two. Anyway, I'm going to dig in. There might have been a few lashings of butter on those potatoes and veggies. I've gone for the third sausage as a beef, pork, and a pork with pepper as well. So, so smoky and delicious off the fire. Mm -hmm. 